Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing at the Madden cheese as always. Got another defensive tip video for you guys today, another gameplay. I'm going against a pretty good team. I mean, Kyler Murray is pretty rare in this game. He's still one of the more expensive cards. He's one of the harder players to defend. So I'm going to give you guys tips on how to stop that as well. Mobile quarterbacks amongst a lot of things that you can use just about every single gameplay that you play. So other than that, if you guys like these type of videos, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comments section. Like, shares, comments. All that stuff really helps out my channel. So if you want to show support, show support that way. Other than that, if you guys want to get some coins for your mud team with all the promos dropping, make sure to check out my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com. Uh, link in the description below. If you use discount code MONEYSHOT, you get 5% off your order, and you help out my channel the same way by supporting me through that as well. So starting off on the defensive side, um, pretty much using the same defense that I always use. Uh, my favorite defense is definitely the 335 at the moment. Uh, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make some serious speed subs. A lot of times I put Dante Jackson, it's like a 95-speed corner at one of the safety spots. Also like to sub out my linebackers with tall safeties like Jeremy Chin and Taylor Mays at the outside spots because I definitely want height. I want height up front because if it's short passes, you're going to want guys that can go up and contest the ball. And then my favorite defense, one of the best defenses in the game to me is the cover three cloud. This is going to be my base defense most of the game. Now, one of the first things I always do is I pinch my entire defense, especially if I'm looking at a two, three tight end set like I'm looking at here. Uh, it's going to create a very good run defense, even though I'm really undersized uh, when it comes to actual run run plays uh, last second I shift over there but ultimately it doesn't really matter because he comes out in a pass play anyway and like I say it takes off a of Kyler Murray Kyler Murray is so fast in this game especially when he's all powered up and all juiced up like my opponent has him he's a real problem uh, but then I'm going to also pinch and spread my defense for run defense I pinch the defensive line spread the linebackers you can see it creates a really good run front a really good run defense front my opponent's not going to have a lot of luck uh, stopping the run today or running the ball today rather uh, and then I'm also going to blitz my user because if it is a pass play blitzing your user whether it's a linebacker or whatever it takes away uh, any change of direction penalty which is something I've gone over in previous videos uh, so you should be able to cover the pass really well with the blitzing user ultimately he runs though and I shut it down all because of my adjustments pre-snap even though I'm way undersized it still has a lot of success next thing you're going to want to do is set up your audible plays it's something I probably should have did earlier but I'm comfortable just running um, you know as do it as I has, have time because a lot of times your opponent picks plays too fast so it is what it is but I set up my audibles i always set up four plays and then a fifth play i pick a play different than the four plays in my audibles so just make sure you have a good combination of man and zone plays uh next up down and distance really will dictate uh, whether you want a hard flat or whether you want to play over the top cover just third and one I'm definitely going to hard flat to try to take away those short throws. And I'm also going to three wreck, which three wrecks are one of the best, uh, you know, ways to use a, a, a middle zone in this game. They're total cheat codes. On this next play, it doesn't really help out, though, because my opponent runs the ball. But I'm going to be using three wrecks pretty much this entire game. Three wrecks are, are superior, uh, you know, when it comes to stopping inside pass lanes uh, because they also follow a lot of stuff across the field. Now, I didn't have a three wreck there. You can see this guy gets wide open coming across. So, like I said, I'm going to three wreck a lot. So, next play my opponent has first down uh, you want to switch over as fast as possible you see here I switch over to the DT and we get an easy run stuff that's whether you're in pass defense or run defense you want to switch over every time the ball's in the air it's going to come in handy on the next play another way to QB contain is to push in the R3 button push in the right stick anytime a mobile quarterback rolls out the closest defender will go after the quarterback there's still a lot of people that don't seem to know that because every time I bring it up I still get a lot of comments about it people don't know how to do that so it's really important especially against a guy like Kyler Murray on the next play it's third and four so i'm going with the hard flats uh you can see we get a penalty the guy's going to get pushed back so now it's third and nine obviously i don't want to do that now i want to play over the top i want to play cloud fats like i said down a distance really dictates uh where you want to go and then i want to get that three wreck one more time uh and we get i mean i had tight coverage i don't know what i'm supposed to do there four guys all around the tight end knocking him around and he still catches the ball sometimes you just can't help the favorable animations it just is what it is uh the next tip is qb containing Hit RB or R1 twice and you will have a QB contain. If you have mobile quarterback running around like I do here, QB contain is one of the best weapons. He gets another penalty. I'm not sure what he's doing on offense. I was actually thinking like this guy might get kicked out pretty soon. 
And then you want to make sure to switch it up. I've been running pretty much the same defense this entire game. I'm going to hit him with one of my run defenses that's still a pretty good pass defense. On the next play, I guess everything's pretty much shut down because he's going to take off with Kyler Murray one more time. Uh, this entire drive, Kyler Murray is going to be a problem, but I promise you it gets better uh, throughout the game. Second and four, this is a prime example of why you want speed on the field at every position. I get stuck on a defensive tackle, and even though I make the right read and I cover the right guy, I just don't have enough speed yeah. to do it. So ultimately, he just outweights it, and he gets a first down uh, so that's why like I said you always want speed at every position I, I really a lot of times I put defensive ends at my defensive tackle spots so I'm going to match personnel I was almost going to go to a run defense inside the five but the second I see three wide receiver set I know I can stop the run well enough if I go with my cover four drop play which is still uh, probably my best run defense in this particular formation so I'm going to go ahead I'm going to pick that Go with my, uh, you know, I got you got to match personnel, especially when a guy's hitting you with a lot of speed plays. Unless he's going to come out in a three tight end set here, an obvious run defense, I have to match and try to uh, beat him speed on speed. And on the very first play, he does run it. He almost gets that animation where he falls into the end zone, but luckily I get to stop at the one. Then he tries to call a hurry up, but I'm not having it. Timeout. You're going to have to earn it. If you want. There's no easy touchdowns. I mean, timeouts, you got to use them. You don't get to keep them. So I use a timely timeout. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go into my coaching adjustments. I'm going to set up, uh, you know, basically he's going to try to run that read option again. I'm going to set up my option defense, a conservative for the quarterback. Then I'm going to go. I'm going to pick my best run defense because I have a feeling that he might still try to pound it. So I go with my cover four quarters out of the four, three, even. Just did a video about that. This is something that I always use in these situations. It's essentially like a goal line defense. Then I'm going to guess run, which is all I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the RB button and then down the right stick. This will ultimately cost me as he decides to throw the ball, but you know, I defend that decision. It's hard to stop a guy from getting a yard, so I'm really not mad about it. It is what it is. At the end of the day, first drives are all about learning tendencies and applying them in the second drive. So I learned all I need to know about this guy after that first drive, and when we get the ball back, we'll put it into use. Now, on the offensive side, I'm not going to show a bunch of tips here. I'm mostly just going to show you what I did. Uh, with the exception of the plays that I used to start off, the gun empty base flex the middle high low this is one of my favorite schemes in the game uh, first play doesn't necessarily work out too great um, he makes some adjustments with the safety that makes me think that maybe he knows this play maybe he knows you know this formation which is pretty popular i made some videos about it. i'll try to put a link in the description for the breakdown no nope. uh, but the first play doesn't really work out i don't want to force any throws so i just throw it away uh, but considering that my opponent took up the entire first quarter uh, with his first drive i'm thinking i got a score here i might not get the ball back so we're going to go with the strong curl this is the second play out of this formation Super glitchy against man and zone, uh, especially if you have the right personnel. And on this first play, sure enough, it just beats this zone outside. Really tight throw, though. Um, as you can see, I mean, I almost, you know, that was that was something. If I didn't get the right throw, that might have been an interception. Then on the next play... Break yourself, fool! I guess he had a cover three on and just totally roast it, which it typically does. And to me, the difference in how I scored compared to the difference in how he scored, it feels like I took a lead. Like, I definitely put pressure on him by scoring so fast when it took him so long to score. But that's just me. So on the second drive, I'm going to apply what I learned from the first drive. I'm going to come out in a dime normal formation, which is basically all DBs on the field. He's going to try to spread me out with speed. I'm going to try to stop him with speed. On the first uh, play of the drive, I also put one of my defensive ends into a QB spy, basically going full coverage here. You can see we have a man coverage across the board. We also have... Uh, QB contains this is going to be our best bet to try to slow down these quarterback runs with Kyler Murray on the first play though he's going to try to hit me with a nope. run play and you can see just because I had a really good defensive formation set up pre-snap I pinched my defensive line I spread my linebackers we get to stop so even though I'm well undersized with this formation I still had a lot of success next play I hit him with a blitz though something that I can't say that I normally use I just tried to mix something in where maybe yeah. I can get a little pressure on the quarterback as he rolls out and then I'm still I'm still trying to figure this out for the most part next play I use the cover three cloud which is very similar to what I've been using uh, out of my base defensive package. You can see we're getting a really good run fit. We're getting a really good look as we pinch the defensive lines. The cornerbacks outside uh, look like linebackers. And for the most part, we're creating a very good run defense with this. Uh, but he's still having success with these pass plays because, like I said, I don't really have a formation set up for that. But we definitely did something different there. Then we're going to show him something different. We're going to mix it up. We're going to hit him with an all-out man blitz, which is something I do, like I said, rarely. I throw this in, try to confuse my opponent with a big stop 
there. You don't want to come out in too many man blitzes though, because that can really cost you. So on the next play, I mean, he's still having success with the run. Not too much success, but he does get the first down. Uh, and we're just going to keep coming out on this base defense. We're going to keep coming out on this uh, this pass defense, because at the end of the day, I just don't want to give up anything long. If he wants to take the entire drive, he can do that. Um, you can see time's running out. I mean, he's only got about 20 some seconds. So I'm in a position where I'm in a pretty good position, at least to hold him to a field goal. Now on the next play, we go ahead. We're coming out in that same pass defense. This is one of the best pass defenses in the game, in my opinion. He's got to push the ball a little bit more because it's only 25 seconds left and he makes a mistake. Gotcha, bitch. So a lot of times playing defense is really about playing the clock and uh, utilizing the clock to your favor. On the offensive side, we're still in that middle high low. I mean, it's only 21 seconds left, but I have faith in this play. I have faith in this offense. You can see, I mean, he's got a lot of coverage over here. This is just a really glitchy play, a really glitchy formation. He could go all the but he does a really good job of keeping me out of the end zone right there as I almost get a one-play touchdown off of a very simple and basic play, a really short throw. Uh, next play, I mean, I, I probably could have threw to the flats. I'm playing for a field goal at this point. I just want to take the lead because I know I get ball back, and I haven't really had the ball too much. I definitely don't want to force any mistakes, too. On the next play, he makes a really good defensive user adjustment. I guess he knows uh, where this play's going. Timeout! So I don't even mess with that. I just called timeout. I'm not even going to mess with that. I'm just going to take the field goal. Like I said, I was worried that I would throw an interception or do something stupid. I, I was. I feel fortunate to take the lead there. And then, like I said, second half, I got ball. So moving down the field, real simple on the next drive, we're just going to hit a couple of running back table routes. Um, a lot of people, if they're not covering the table routes, which a lot of times is somewhat user responsibility because most zone coverages don't do a very good job against this. Uh, I'm just going to keep taking that. You can see that two plays in a row. We're going right down the field. This next play here, he's making a coming all the way across the field of the open side leaving that table route wide open once again so three table route plays and we're already in scoring range although this drive ultimately is going to fizzle out because once again i'm not forcing any mistakes i'm not forcing any uh bad plays uh my opponent's shown he's a pretty good user defender he's done a pretty good job here on third and three um i make a motion here because he's stacking that box for the inside zone so i make a motion just to try to get uh, a little bit of separation sure enough it does work i do get the first down from third and three get a favorable animation but ultimately he's doing a really good job of coming up and stopping this run with his user even in small defensive packages like he's in uh next play hit him with another run play if he's going to keep leaving that wide open i'm going to keep taking it uh on second and two though i try to get a little creative with his jet sweep uh and he's just all over that i mean he cuts that off big time like i said good user player i'm playing a good a good player he's a good player at the end of the day then he nope. gets another user good play at the back to back to basically stall out my drive uh and we're going to go ahead we're just going to kick the field goal because like i said I, I feel good enough about my defense i feel good where it's at and given the fact that it's already the fourth quarter quarter based on the fact that he was running clock so much you no know, he essentially has to score a touchdown now and then i could probably get ball back and kick a field goal to win the game i mean there's so many scenarios that are playing in my favor so next series, I see he's coming out in a three tight end set. I'm not going to go for that, though. I mean, I'm going to come out in my run defense from my past defensive formation. I can set up a pretty good run defense. You can see I can basically take away everything that would be possible when it comes to a run D. He gets me on the play action, though, and I basically leave my assignment. Oops. So I made the right call as far as personnel because this guy is a very pass-heavy player. Obviously, he relies on uh, Kyler Murray, but I definitely want to, on my next play, come out in something a little bit different that will give me some solid run defense if he keeps coming out in this three tight end set, which he does. So I'm coming out my cover four quarters play. And you can see on the very first play, not a lot of places to run. So we're going to be able to get the stop. He's not going to pound nope. the ball, kill clock on me like he probably wants to at this point, and score a touchdown. On the next play, we basically lock everything up. He's going to run with Kyler Murray one more time. Kyler Murray, like I said, he's he's definitely the X factor here uh, when it comes to his offense. Uh, on the next play, one more time, like I said, this run defense is solid. Even with his nope. blocking advantage, three tight ends, it doesn't matter. On the next play, he rolls out seriously, and it almost looks like... He he almost got the touchdown there. Oh, he almost had it. On the next play, we're going to set up a little bit of a trap. I leave my user middle linebacker in a spy because I know he's running with the quarterback a lot. And the second he rolls out, I'm just going to make that spy go after the quarterback by hitting the R3 button one more time. Gotcha, bitch. And we get a user lurk uh, with Derek Thomas, who we were using all the way from the defensive end spot. So that's basically um, the way we've been changing our game, and we switched it up. Uh, after what he did the first drive, he hasn't scored a point since because we used what we learned. Uh, on the next offensive series, I'm pretty sure he's going to run commit given the time it's about two minutes left in the fourth so i'm going through my playbook because i don't really know this playbook too great and i'm looking for an rpo with a looky with a slant because i'm expecting that run commit way ahead of time because i know that that's a perfect play to use against that and sure enough he does run commit he could go all the way 
Uh, we're taking it to the house. So that's pretty much game. He knows with two minutes left, down two touchdowns now, that that's game over. He's not going to waste his time. He's going to head for the exits. So if you guys like this video, if you guys want to see more videos like this, do me a favor. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Let shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.